I'd like to introduce uh, Jean Bresciani. Uh, she is the director of the Isadora Duncan International Institute in New York. Jean. It is a great thrill to be here tonight. I feel wedded to the past, the present, and a profound future, let alone being a dancer and an historian sitting amidst the, these, all of these fellows of artistry and sound immersed. It reminds me of some of the great journeys I've had with Dmitri Vasilakis as he would lead us along the way through the archaeological sites in Greece. And that is why I'm, I am here, for this continuity, to bring as well the legacy of Isadora Duncan. She was also an American foundress, the foundress of modern dance. She was called the muse of modernism, also the impetus be behind the first really permitted dance improvisation upon a Western stage to music of all kinds. The other mission I bring with Dimitri and his beautiful wife, Alana Mikalu, is the Delphic Game Reinstatement Project. This we share with the wonderful Mayor Emeritus of Delphi, Greece, Panos Kaltis. The Delphic Games were second only to the Olympic Games in the ancient world, but they also entailed dance, music, poetry, song, theater, philosophy, myth, with sport. And so Isadora Duncan, the foundress of our lineage, was the first behind the original modern reinstatement. She died before it occurred, but her relatives brought this to bear. Eva Palmer and the great poet uh, Diogoros Anulos Siklianos. And so tonight I am privileged to be a representative to wed the Isadora Duncan legacy, the Delphic Games, to jazz here at this amazingly honorific institution, the United Nations, not foreign to Isadora at all, for her work was considered a great legacy for peace. She was considered the first citizen of the world, surely the first woman doing such. And she also was for the dance for every living person. She traveled the globe as far as Russia, Mongolia, all over Europe, far and wide, South America. She had come at that turn of the last century to remind the Greek people of their profound inheritance in arts, philosophy, and mythology. She wore their garments. She said, this, I must be the standard bearer of this great legacy, and we must bring it to bear in modern form. Thus, she produced what she called improvisationally the movement of the soul. She brought art and ideas together, holding on to the values, the virtues, and the valor and bravery it takes to be an essential original self on a stage or anywhere in life. She was an era in spiritrix, I call her, and an animatrix. We are here in this center, which is a symbolic center, a symbolic, in a sense, navel of the world for peace, much like Delphi, called the navel of the world in the ancient days. And so it is an ideal kind of forum, and it is the purpose of a jazz democracy to make it very real. There will be some real dancers downstairs too, following, as we always do, the music, beautiful sound of Dimitri. So I invite you to get down to the reception as soon as possible. They will only dance at the very beginning. And let us, as Isadora asked us, merge the arts. Let the arts continue in, our, in all of us, in our hearts and minds and souls, the eternal values that the Greeks have given us and that are undying and are the birthright of every living person. Let us be here tonight in that spirit. Let us hear the mother cry the brother cry, the father cry, the sister cry of all creation when we hear this sound emerging from these great artists. And if I may dare to ask you to rise just for a moment now and do what we call, what is Adora called? 
over a hundred years ago, the universal gesture, could we rise? And she would say as she moved, earth, self, sky, my brothers, earth, self, sky, my sisters, earth, self, sky, our world, united and one. And she reminded us, let the artists unite and create this miracle of love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 